Well, I'll tell you what, not having squatted for 10 months, um, I'm pretty happy with today's session. I went into it cautiously, not knowing what to expect, but this went pretty well and I think it's a great starting point. Hey gang, welcome back to Mark's 60 plus fitness journey. Okay, today is a big day. Today is the day I reintroduce squats back into my workout programming. Now, I haven't done squats in over 10 months. My last squat session was December 15th of 2022. And I remember that vividly because that's the day uh, when I got done with that session, I came home and out of the blue, I was stricken with what turns out was something called vestibular neuritis. That's an inflammation of the nerve between your ear and your brain, and it affects your um, vestibular system, which is what controls your balance and awareness of what's around you and walking and all that kind of stuff. So uh, needless to say, uh, <laughs> that, that messed me up for a while. I was, I was down hard for about six weeks where I couldn't really work out at all, much less, I really couldn't even walk, much less work out. And since then, it's gotten better and progressively better to the point where today, right now, it's about 95 to 99% back to normal. I don't feel like I'm 100% normal yet, but I'm getting close. Now, I've done a video, maybe two, on the vestibular neuritis that I'll link down in the description if you're curious to find out more about that. But, um, so, I, I, with the balance being askew, I, I didn't do, when I, came, when I started working out again, I wasn't doing... Uh, squats or deadlifts and um, I've recently in the last month or so started reintroducing deadlifts into my programming and uh, today is actually session five of that you'll see some of that today but uh, I've got a couple of videos tracking that progress that I'll link down in the description as well that's going well um, so, but today is the first squat session, and I'll be dis I'd be dishonest if I didn't tell you I was a little scared about this today. I, I tried it, I don't know, a few weeks ago, just with a bar. My I, my balance just didn't feel good. I was scared to do it. Today was a little bit different. Well, it was a lot different, uh, and uh, I'll show you how that went. So let's go ahead and hop in the gym, and I'll show you today's inaugural squat session plus my uh, uh, deadlift workout today. Let's go do it. Okay, squatting is back after a little bit over a, over a 10 month layoff, as I said. It certainly was not a planned layoff. Um, as I mentioned in the little intro there, it was a little illness that got me and laid me low. And I've slowly but surely worked myself back to uh, the point where I feel fairly stable balance wise and ready to reintegrate squats into my workout programming I did a couple well actually one one little test session of squats about five weeks ago and did not feel comfortable at all balance wise so uh, that little uh, experience kind of threw me off and I was a little bit um, nervous about starting this session today um, didn't have any idea where I was going to start um, so today is as much about just getting a nice solid base and a nice solid starting point, a realistic starting point. So that's what I'm doing today. And that's what, I, uh, as I'm warming up here, I'm getting a feel for what my starter weight's going to be, where I'm going to start. And speaking of starter weights, that starter weight is going to be the beginning of my progressive overload programming approach I'm going to use here. Now if you're not familiar, progressive overload is a technique where you do a certain number of sets of a certain number of reps. And in this case I'm going to do three sets of five reps. And generally in strength training it's going to be a lower rep count, like three to five. And I'm going to use three sets of five reps. And whenever I can successfully do three sets of five reps at a given weight, I'll move up five pounds. Now, historically, uh, on squats and deadlifts, I've been 
uh, raising that to uh, or using 10 pound increments instead of five I, I think I'm going to start sticking with the five pound increment raising five pounds every time I move up one notch that's what I've been doing on my deadlifts which you'll see here in a minute I'll show you a quick little deadlift session at the end here and the progression so far um, but having said all that I think the key for me is to be cautious and patient now here is set one of the weight I eventually decided to start with and this is what I hoped to start with today was uh, 225 I think it's a nice solid weight um, it might be a bit humbling but it's okay um, you know it's a good safe place to start now is not the time for ego to play into this so 225 is a nice starting point and it felt it felt easy I mean these were easy um, I was moving slowly because as I said I'm uh, still feeling out the balance thing and uh, this session today felt way better than the one I mentioned earlier that I did about five weeks ago it felt very stable and this weight felt very doable I certainly could have done a, a lot more on each of these sets and before I forget, um, the thing I'm going to focus on here is I want to get to a 90 or a little bit below um, 90 degree squat. Something that would be a legit squat in a powerlifting competition, for example. So I'm focusing on depth and I'm focusing on form. And today I felt okay about the depth and the form looks pretty good here too I felt pretty good about that now I think next session I'm gonna go a little bit deeper not much just a little bit to make sure I'm under that 90 degree uh, requirement my requirement of 90 degrees the hip joint being just a little below the knee this is the Actually, this is my fourth set here. What I wanted to do was do a feeler weight of uh, 10 pounds heavier than my uh, uh, what I was using just to see what it felt like. So this is three reps at that weight. And this felt good. I, I uh, was happy with this. I did, as you see, uh, break out my weightlifting shoes or my squat shoes and my belt. And those things still look pretty new because when I bought those, I'd only had a couple of squat sessions under me before I got I got sick. So that squat session was okay. Uh, it's a good place to start, 225. And next session, I'm going to go up to 230. And like I said, just be cautious. Now here is just a quick review or, um, or overview of today's deadlift session. Now, I kind of broke my own rule here today, by the way. Uh, I am focusing more on deadlifts than squats. Um, that may change later, but right now I just want to get my squat weight up a little higher. So ordinarily, I would do deadlifts first and then squat second. But today was different. And like I said, I was a little, a little hesitant to um, with the squat session today. I was a little worried about it, so I did it first just to get it out of the way. So deadlift second today, but it's okay. I felt pretty good. Uh, the squat session didn't put too big of a demand on me because it wasn't terribly heavy. So this squat session was pretty good. This is uh, the fifth session since I've restarted. And I started at 315 on session one and I've been progressively moving up five pounds each session. And uh, it's felt felt very easy so far. I've been It's been well within my... Um, my abilities and uh, I think the last time uh, when I left off deadlifting at the end of 2022 I was probably at I think it was at 375 maybe a little more for my working set so I'm working my way back there and I mentioned this before in a couple of other deadlift videos recently that my goal is to get to a, a 450 pound a single rep legit deadlift um, no time frame just working towards that just something 
you know, a little carrot on a stick to keep me going. Um, but this was a good session today. And I followed this up with some other work. I did some, uh, some um, leg extensions for a little bit more quad work. I actually did one set of single leg presses on the leg press machine. I just didn't film those. But uh, pretty excited about this today. Um, and before I forget about it, back on the squats, I think my RPE today, rate of perceived effort, was probably around 6 or 7. We'll call it 7. So again, the squats were well within my abilities and a lot of room to grow there. Happy with today's session. Glad to have get, gotten this squat session under my belt. I feel really good about it. Much more to follow. Well, that was a stellar banner workout for me. I uh, can't tell you how good it is. How good it feels for me to get that first squat session in every day i'm getting a little bit closer to normal um getting the deadlifts reintegrated and the squats and uh, some strength movements back in my workout programming makes me feel really good so moving along and much more to follow on that um so keep your eyes peeled for more and i just want to say thank you so very much for taking time out of your day to spend with me on my little fitness adventures here. I sincerely appreciate it. And if you would, do me one more favor, as always, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, share this with your friends, and leave a comment, leave some comments. Uh, I've been a little uh, lax in uh, commenting on comments lately, but I'm gonna get better about that. But leave a comment, that's always good. I like to see comments. That always helps the algorithm, as they say. Um, and if you haven't already, consider clicking that subscribe button. Enough rambling. That's the end of this. So until next time, go get them. Mark out.